Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today in this video, we'll be seeing what is chubby distributed lock in uh, cloud computing. So in my previous video, uh, I taught you the Google file system that is the GFS. Now this is another service provided by the Google. So uh, in like uh, we have many systems which are loosely coupled as well as tightly coupled. So uh, this chubby lock service is provided by the Google especially to provide uh, reliable storage for those loosely coupled system and it also provides a core screening mechanism uh, which provides by means of a locking service. So chubby is essentially a locking service which also provides uh, reliable storage as well as coarse grained locking and the secondary uh, characteristic of this chubby is it provides the high throughput rate for this loosely coupled system. So uh, in this video let's see what is the uh, chubby distributed lock and some of the terms used in this and also the structure of how this chubby looks like. So uh, let's begin with the diagram. So uh, in this we have some kind of client application blocks as well as chubby library and some client processes are there and you have the master like uh, we have seen in the GFS and the communication mainly takes place by means of RPCs that is the remote procedure calls uh, by uh, means of distributed systems. So uh, this is the chubby system overall. So uh, two primary components are there in the chubby system. So those are server as well as the library and all the communication here takes place by means of the remote procedure calls that is the RPC. Uh, then the library links uh, the clients towards itself. So it's like uh, you have one client process. So that client process is like uh, the client application and chubby library. So the library links the client application towards it by means of uh, this locking mechanism and chubby cell this is the chubby cell and it contains small set of servers called as the replicas so these uh, circles which you can see are called as the replicas and these are usually five in numbers and is used in every cell so in GFS we saw this kind of uh, similar fashion but uh, there it was three different uh, separate categories or three different separate uh, replicas were there so uh, that was the default for GFS but in chubby it's five and the master elected from these five replicas uh, are elected by means of a distributed protocol that could be round robin or some other like Berkeley's algorithm or some other croc synchronization algorithm and which is used for consensus now consensus is here means a general agreement uh, where all the uh, uh, servers are agreed upon by a, a common protocol and they just operate uh, within that particular duration and most replicas must vote for a master so it's like uh, you have uh, five different replicas so five different replicas will uh, formulate a distributed protocol uh, by means of which they elect a master from it and the master will control all the operations which is carried out in the chubby lock service uh, then the consensus here which I spoke uh, just it's a general agreement where all the replicas agree upon so it's like no other master would be elected by the replicas that have once voted for one master for a particular duration it's like at one particular time at one particular duration only uh, one master would be elected by all the other replicas and not more than one and the time duration for it is called as the master lease so that for that master lease uh, there will be one master acting as the uh, master for that particular time period uh, next we move on to the file system that is the chubby file system is same as the unix file system and it's more simpler than the unix file system and the files and directories in chubby are known as nodes and it's contained uh, in the chubby namespace and every node has distinct metadata uh, then the nodes are open when you break down the nodes or when you drill down the nodes you can see the file descriptors and these are called as handles in chubby so uh, the specifiers there are certain uh, specifiers laid for this handles and these handles uh, include uh, specifiers like you have the check digits uh, which is used for uh, preventing the guessing uh, for the handles and then you have the handle sequence number and then you have some mode information like for instance uh, at one particular point of time that master created that particular kind of handle but after some duration some other master would be coming so it's like for recreating that particular kind of uh, instance you need uh, this mode information like uh, with what information or with what configuration the previous master created those particular kind of uh, setup 
then you have the reader and writer locks in this so exclusive permission is allowed for a writer mode like you have the writer lock in this and it can be provided by a single client so at one single point of time only uh, one client can do the writing and rest all can do the reading purpose so reader mode sharing n clients are there and uh, there is a conflict which occurs when the same lock is requested at the same time by some other like uh, if at one particular point of time one particular client is writing and then if somebody other comes and just interrupts and if it tries to acquire those particular kind of lock from that earlier uh, client then a kind of conflict occurs so uh, we make sure that deadlock doesn't happen in this kind of setup uh, next distributed locking like uh, this it's a chubby distributed lock so you have to implement the distributed locking so distributed locking mode is complex in chubby and so it has two factors or two main uh, points uh, revolved around it so the first one is the cost that is it's costly and it permits only interactions uh, which are using locks so like currently which all uh, locks are being used only those are being labeled and those are being uh, uh, permitted in this and then you have the status so status is described by a uh, string called as sequences so those sequences are used to uh, describe the status of that particular kind of uh, lock in chubby then you have the event it's a term uh, so these are terms basically event sequences then reader writer mode and the handles and nodes are all uh, the basic uh, terminologies which are used in chubby uh, now uh, event is there which could be subscribed after creation of handles like uh, you have certain particular kind of handles which is laid after it's creating then uh, you can subscribe to that event like whenever in future you need that particular kind of service or that particular kind of uh, advantage from that then you can particularly uh, subscribe from that so that's necessarily an event and event could be something like modification of the file contents if any file contents is being modified then uh, you can uh, invoke an event or then uh, if there is an addition removal or modification of a single child node then a failure of a chubby master like if any chubby master fails over a particular time then an event called can be called then invalidity of a handle invalidity means like a particular time period if that handle expires then an event can be called then acquisition of lock by others if like the deadlock condition like i've mentioned here if one lock is being used at one polar time kind of time then it cannot be uh, used by some other clients so uh, next we have the request for conflicting uh, locks from another client so like uh, this thing should be taken care and for these things we have the events which is laid in uh, chubby file system uh, next we can create the handle by means of uh, two techniques uh, so creation of the handles is done by the open method so open method we have to call in chubby file system and you can create a handle in that and therefore you can create different different events for that and then uh, on the same grounds you can destroy it destruction of the handles is uh, done by the close method so these two are uh, the methods which is used for uh, opening a handle as well as for uh, creating or destroying uh, the handle so close is used for destroying and open is for creating so well that was all regarding the chubby uh, distributed lock in uh, cloud computing so hope you guys enjoyed this video and got educated by watching this video please do like share comment and most importantly don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching this video